In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dearly beloved in Christ, and Father Emmanuel, Aria, and I like to share with you our daily empowerment bread. That's a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Thursday, 27th April 2023. The readings are taken from Acts 8, 26 to 40, Psalm 65, 8 to 9, 16, 17, 20, and John 6, 44 to 51. The theme of the reflection is how to cultivate a good relationship with God. How to cultivate a good relationship with God. The Gospel tells us that to be able to come to Jesus, we must be drawn by the Father. At the same time, to be able to understand the will of the Father, we must come to Jesus. It means that the Father inspires us to come to His Son so that He will help us cultivate a good relationship with the Father. It also implies that even if we do not have a good relationship with the Father, He still inspires us. But we need to have a good relationship with the Son in order to have a good relationship with the Father. And how do we have a good relationship with the Son? It is by believing that He is the bread of life that we have to eat in order to get eternal life. This bread comes in the form of His Word, His body, and His blood. If we eat this bread, we will live forever, since through this, the Holy Trinity comes and lives in us and shares His eternal life with us. This is what Jesus came and taught those disciples who were longing to have a good relationship with God. And he commanded them to teach, to teach others, to teach others with his help. This, that is why in the first reading, the Holy Spirit uses Philip to share this good news with the Ethiopian eunuch, who was longing for a good relationship with God. His longing was so strong that he traveled all the way from Ethiopia to Jerusalem on a horse to pray for a good relationship with God. It implies that God inspires us to search for him, and when we do that with all our hearts, he rewards us by coming close to us. Since without Jesus, the Enoch could not understand the will of God and do it, the Holy Spirit inspired Philip to help the Enoch. The Enoch was humble and open enough to allow Philip to help him. So he invited Philip to join him in his chariot. Philip took the opportunity to introduce Jesus to him and explain to him that he needs baptism and daily breaking of the word and the Eucharist in order to cultivate a good relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. When Philip baptized him, he experienced the presence of God in a special way, and so he went away rejoicing. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace to cultivate a good relationship with God by daily feeding on Jesus, the bread of life, and be always filled with the joy of the Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Can I promote this ministry by sharing this message with others and subscribing to this YouTube channel? It is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.